Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell. And I want to talk about the quintessential 80s action film. I loved this movie when it came out. I love it today. Uh, many years ago when I was first starting out as a screenwriter, I got to work with the director, Mark L. Lester. And I think I scared the hell out of him in our first meeting because pretty much as he was talking about the project, all I would do was quote lines from this movie at him. Uh, could I get the pillow for my friend? He's dead tired. Remember, Sally, when I told you I'd kill you last? I lied. Uh, it's so many. Anyway, this is the quintessential 80s movie. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. The coked out, pumped up, testosterone fueled Reaganism of Commando seems almost quaint today and actually makes it easier to enjoy, I think. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays retired Commando John Matrix. I mean, do you really need any more than that? The script was written by Steven D'Souza, whose name was on a whole hell of a lot of great action movies in the 80s, 48 Hours, Die Hard, and so forth, based on a story by Jeff Loeb and Matthew Wiseman, but the script is really where the money is with this one. It's all about the dialogue, all about the kill zingers. This was Arnold's follow-up to Terminator, his first lead role since then. He had found a tone with Jim Cameron that allowed him to really get into his action movie groove. He had that kind of deadpan delivery that borrows a lot from Clint Eastwood and Sean Connery, but he makes it distinctly his own. The movie has a great supporting cast. There's a very young Alyssa Milano, the great David Patrick Kelly, Radon Chong, Dan Hedaya, and Vernon Wells from Road Warrior plays the main villain. It was only a couple of years since Road Warrior, but you get the sense that maybe he got cast sight unseen because, well, he's not quite as buff and terrifying as he was in that movie. And his sleeveless mesh shirt is a tad eccentric. But it doesn't matter. Arnold's an unstoppable force. From the moment the bad guys take his daughter, it's just non-stop action. Mark L. Lester, the director, started in drive-in movies, then segued into studio movies, then segued back to straight-to-video movies, which is where our paths first intersected. He directed Bobby Joe and the Outlaw, Truck Stop Women, Roller Boogie, Class of 1984, for a few years, his gonzo driving instincts were in perfect sync with Hollywood. And he did this, Firestarter, and several others before sliding into straight-to-video movies in the 90s. Just keep in mind, I never said this was the best 80s action movie. It's just the most 80s, 80s action. Let's party. 